Hello YouTube watchers, my name is Walt Willows and welcome back and today I'll be showing as you can see from the name of the video or maybe you guess it, yes I'm going to do an unboxing of Stack 2, the Stack of Dream for the Nintendo GameCube Okay, oh, this game is awful, get out of here Hello, and I'm going to do an unboxing of Tactical Espionage Action Metal Gear Solid Let's unboxing Okay There, so I took it out of the box, and isn't that what it's supposed to do? And yeah, these are my games now, and this goes to the trash can. There you go. So I have these two games now, and I'm going to have them like this, like this, until uh, I can't play them anymore because they will be so scratched. Okay, Tactical Spinach Action Metal Gear Solid for the Sony PlayStation, the PlayStation 1. And as you can see, it's a regular edition and it's the NTSC American version. And developed by Konami, no, yeah, um, published by Konami, developed by KCE Japan, which is Konami Computer Entertainment, and for Mature the ESRB rating system and the cover is plain white kind of looks like the cover are for the Japanese Final Fantasies uh, it's nice the European version has a cool drawing made by Yoshi Shinkawa this is just plain white but the logo is red and it kind of shines it's nice simple but nice you are Snake, a government agent on a mission to regain control of a secret nuclear weapon base from terrorist hands. Confidential, some screenshots here, and this is very important. I guess you can, I, I guess you know why I'm saying this is it's important. Basically, if you don't have this back label here, you're screwed. Screwed. Um, but I think Mary calls. calls you on her own if you pass um, on an, an, amount, an amount of time in the game. Um, one player, memory block card, 1 to 15 block, uh, blocks, analog controller compatible, dual shot compatible, uh, vibration function compatible, two discs, mature, anima animated blood and gore, animated violence, mature sexual themes. Hmm, interesting. And yeah, that was the back. And inside. Okay. This one. And it's solid snake. And then the back solid snake as well. Here the manual. Here's the manual. But I'm going to show you that in a bit. Uh, Metal Gear Solid, uh, the disc here, and that's Liquid Snake, and Foxhound, Special Force Group, it says inside, and here, yeah, the cover, the, the ma manual, and I have this game, before I get this version I, I'm showing you right now, I have the game uh, the disc loose with the back label and this as the main uh, cover art and I was I'm kind of um, used to this cover I kind of like it um, of course a drawing by Yoshi Shinkawa if you want to read this I'm going to I'm going to try to show all the page pages and I hope you can read it what was with pause in the video but if you want to read fully I think there's a web page you can go to it that gives you the the manual on PDF if you want to feel nostalgic or if you want to read over the game about the game just don't, if you want to have the game complete maybe print it but don't sell it saying it's complete 
because you will be a moron and will kick you for that. And here, original PlayStation, the the regular controller, the first controller, the Dual Shock cast. I think some of these, I think some of these people have uh, fake names. Okay. Okay. This this mirror is really cool. It's very long in its full color. Sadly, most of the games doesn't have manuals anymore. The Metal Gear Solid 4, Guns of the Patriot for the PlayStation, all of the versions had the manual, not the HD, uh, no, not the Legacy Collection, I think, but all of the regular greatest hits and regular editions had a um, uh, black and white man manual. No, not so much people read the manuals, but I think I read this one when I was like 10 or 11. And of course you can read all the frequencies here. And you, you surely will use that one as well. That will be helpful. All the characters. And something funny is that most of the minerals are uh, all have these mission log notes si uh, section I wonder if someone actually used this uh, section these notes to write something and uh, let me know in the comment section below but I have a cousin a cousin that had the Wind Waker for the um, the, the GameCube obviously and it's funny that he wrote something there and actually did uh, and he actually did a drawing and he sold the game afterwards nice if you have um, that version maybe maybe it's from my cousins and Metal Gear Solid the official mission handbook content consumers consum, consumer sport and on the back coming soon welcome to hell welcome to hell Silent Hill Sybil I think she was called Sybil. Um, that's all. That's all. And something I want to ask the people here seeing this video if they remember or if they still have this game. And the thing I w I'm wondering and I, I want to ask you, you watching the video, is that if you had this game before and if you still have this game now, I guess it's supposed to the the back is supposed to be this see-through plastic, and the reason why I'm asking this is because I had this game with the black regular one forever, and I don't remember changing it. Maybe I did that when I was uh, little, and maybe because this thing broke uh, broke down or something. But it, I had this with the regular black one, like this one here. Um, this one here, this one. So I got these see-through ones from a music CD, and I put them back because, of course, it should, should be like that. But the thing is, as I said, I don't remember even even changing it. And I saw a guy on uh, that did a video of unboxing of this, and I think one of the size was see-through and there was one the, the other one was um, uh, black and maybe it's just that uh, I changed it I don't remember and something else I have to say about, uh, I'm wondering is uh, I got this game when it was 
seal and I don't remember if it had a poster here I don't think it had a poster but a friend asked me uh, wasn't it supposed to have a poster here what you did with your poster and I don't remember having a poster in it so that's the question thank you for watching and see you soon there's a, another look at tables again if you want to see it and another look at a snake if you're a girl I don't know thank you Actually, something funny is this is quite a mess. This, of course, is tag to the stuff of dream. Don't play it. Don't even look at it. Don't even look for it. Uh, it's not very, no, not very, very good game. And the thing is the mess. I don't know what happened to the dis this disc. And something funny is you, if you open this up, it's, it's on my shelf. If you open this up, you had here burnout. And I don't have the box for burnout because I bought it like this. And there's the thing for the pick to chat. There's this Super Smash Bros. Melee extra manual I have. I lent this one to a friend, and for some reason the manual is, is, is here. But I'm going to put it back when I get that game. Uh, and I want to erase this thing to show you. And the back is the actual manual. Something else I have to say. Uh, remember that I told you that the thing was uh, see-through, and you can see, uh, of course, that was very common with the PlayStation games, the see-through thing, and it's, it's still popular. Uh, like for example, the um, the PlayStation 3. Something funny, something very smart is that for, for games that actually had that uh, uh, inside artwork and. If they were released on the Greatest Heat Edition, some of them, most of them, uh, have, even though they are not, they are not see through, they have this. This is very smart. Look at this. They have the inside artwork there. Maybe it's just a strategy too, so you can buy a cheaper or a shitty game <laughs> to put it on a see through. I have the Uncharted 2 among things. Greatest hit the game of the year edition, and it's just like that. Really smart, as I said before. By the way, in this moment, I was just joking. I'm not actually doing this at all. It's kind of hurting now, and my this my discs are okay. They're in really good uh, condition, and they're very old, which is impressive. So thanks for watching.